Five verbs that do that I do in dating as a highly sensitive woman. So I was listening to a podcast recently on five words that no longer resonate with me by Bree Mitchell. And I love her take on words that no longer resonate with her. And I thought, what actions or verbs that I would do while dating as a highly sensitive woman that may also help you? Hi, I'm Coach Nadine, your empath and highly sensitive coach. Before I continue, you make sure you know what I'm going to say, subscribe, follow, and share below so you can watch all the videos that myself and the other coaches have on this channel. Also, we also have a great community that you may be, that you can be part of. Here's a promo from Chengi and see you after this. Men want exactly what you want. They want connection. They want to fall in love. They want to have a family one day. Their desires are actually no different from yours. Difference is a man wants that with a woman he deeply desires and finds really attractive. I will teach you the nature of men. What every single man, good, bad, ugly or indifferent, even your pastor, desires in a woman. So I am inviting you to enroll in the Mastering Attraction Masterclass. However, why stop there? Why not get into the Black Swan Nation All Access Pass and access all the courses in the academy? Why not go and figure out how to build a relationship in the most high value, most feminine, most amazing way by becoming part of the Black Swan Nation? See you on the inside. So the five words I'm going to talk about is first, acceptance. I know the things I love about myself and learning new things each day. I'm not being so critical of who I am and I'm being my authentic self. I'm realizing that being my authentic self, the good, the bad and everything is okay. I'm also aware that I'm my authentic self, that I'm not going to be liked or loved by others and others probably won't like me either. A good friend said to me, it's better to be yourself than to try to be someone else because there's always going to be people who like you or do not like you, so you might as well be you. So if a man does not fancy me, that's okay. And if he does, that's okay too. The same way that I may feel towards that man where I may fancy him or, he may, or I may not fancy him. The second verb is self-love. This goes with acceptance. Learning to love myself the same way that I would love others. That means taking time to rest, having quality time to di digest things I've done or have encountered a day. By doing this, I truly learn how to love and care for the men I'm in a relationship with. There's a saying that says, people treat you how they see you treat yourself. And I truly believe this. Next thing is having fun, especially when you're going through the dating process. That means when you're talking to men on the apps, texting, going on dates, not to take it seriously as if you're doing a school assignment or a job task, not worrying if a man stopped texting you or does not want to see you anymore. Remember, dating is gathering data and you want it, you're learning about yourself and the type of men you want in a relationship. So have fun. Learn who you are and get to know the men you are, the men you're dating. Next is being in the present or what they say, living in the moment. Yes, you're not daydreaming as soon as you meet that person on a phone call or a text, what church you're going to get married, how many kids you're going to have, the downtown loft, loft you'll move in, in you're, and because he's met all your core needs. But instead, you're present with the men you're seeing. You're enjoying the time you spend with him. You're getting to know him. You're vetting him and you're figuring out if he's the right person for you, as well as he's figuring out if you're the right person for him. And lastly, communication. Yes, being able to communicate how you feel to the men you're seeing, whether there's a conflict you're dealing with 
or something you may not agree with or even your core needs and also listening. Both you and the men are able to communicate and listen to each other. So those are the actions I have now incorporated in, the in my dating as a highly sensitive woman and I hope those have helped you too. Also, if you have any questions, please put them in the video, uh, in the comments I mean, or any topics you would like either me or the other coaches, coaches to discuss. So have a great day and I'll see you soon. Thank you.